Well, I mean, because of the bad weather, more than expected, about $5.7 million. But projects like this will eat it up quickly. 52nd Street got so bad that instead of strip patching, they decided to repave it. For people who use 52nd Street just west of Keystone, it was almost too good to be true, seeing crews not just patching potholes, but repaving the street. It's been awful. I'll go out of my way to not drive on 52nd because, you know, you're, you're curving. There's people driving in the center lane. It's not safe. Here's a side-by-side -side look at the before and the after. Well, almost after. It's good to see that they're being proactive about it, finally. Crews were also out filling potholes, trying to catch up after the recent stretch of snow and rain put a lot of repairs on hold. That's why DPW still has $5.7 million left in its emergency fund, money that was expected to be gone by mid-April. But that money won't last long. That with nearly 8,000 pothole requests still open as of Thursday, and new requests still coming in nearly every minute. Back on 52nd, the owner of Sobro Spirits was thrilled to see the potholes being swept away. It was starting to hurt our business. People were saying that they were finding uh, other places to shop because of how bad the street was. To give you a sense of just how bad 52nd Street's been, we went to the pothole viewer. All these red dots represent requests for repairs. It's nearly a solid line from the Monon over to Keystone Avenue. While Wildeman is glad his street finally made the list, he knows that list is long. I never, never like to uh, talk about tax increases, but if everybody has to pay a few more nickels uh, to keep our streets in good shape, then so be it. And while raising taxes has been talked about, rather, uh, nothing has been proposed. And as for this stretch of uh, 52nd here, expected to cost about a half million dollar, dollars, rather. And, Anna, i got to tell you, we've been seeing a lot of thumbs up. People are happy about this. Absolutely. we got to get those roads fixed. Thank you, Mary. Well, this is an interesting perspective. According to AAA, the Roadside Assistance Service has seen a 35% increase in calls for help since the pothole crisis started in February when compared to the same time period last year. But because they do not track what issues those callers had, they can't say that all of them were related to potholes. They do, however, track the locations of those calls. And here's what we've learned. AAA has seen the most requests for assistance in three areas, I-65 and I-70 downtown, I-465 on the northwest side between 86th Street and Michigan Road exits, and that includes 865, and also I-465 on the south side just south of Hannah.